it is Saturday evening. It has been a long but amazing day. So amazing. It started with my sister coming over, 7.30, 8 o'clock. And she's like, I'm here to paint. And I'm like, holy smokes. And we've got to paint because we're swapping. I'm filthy. Look at my arm. I've been tiling all day. My brain losing my mind. We're switching the kids' rooms because London's not going to be able to go up and downstairs easily for probably quite some time. So we figured it was the best decision. London's moving upstairs and Ford's moving downstairs. And so I told Ford, I said, man, if you're willing to do that, I said, well, new carpet, new paint, we'll just make it a nice new bedroom. And we're going to do the same thing for London upstairs, new paint, new carpet. All right, I'm back. I'm getting food for Lori and myself because I haven't been to the hospital all day. So I wanted to come up and see my beautiful wife and my beautiful daughter before the day was over. We have good news. She had her NG2 pulled out last night by the doctor, not by London. So I'm sure she's over the moon. I haven't seen her since she's had it pulled out, which was sometime last night. And then the doctor came in sometime today, checked her out, and said she can go on a liquid diet, which is awesome. She loves to drink. She drinks so much water when she's at home. Oh, my heavens. That kid is so hydrated. So, huge blessing that she can now go to liquids, not just having ice chips and a popsicle. And if things keep... Oh, gosh. If things keep going on the up and up, she could come home next week. She'll still likely have her drains in, and they may have to put larger drains in in the next day or so, but she could still come home with those. And then there will be, uh, I don't know how, what my wife's like, an on-call nurse or an in-home nurse that will come home to make sure that she's getting the meds or whatever. I don't know. I don't understand it all. We are most grateful for all the help. And all kinds of people show up today. Stuff that, was, that took place at our home today is absolutely amazing. Oh, my heavens. I didn't ask for any of it. Massive blessing. Super grateful and humbled by everybody's service and love. It's pretty awesome. And not even just today. I mean, the outpouring of people has been just amazing. Um, you know, people donating money and food and just the well wishes. I mean, it's just nice for people to just reach out and, you know, just check in on us. Check in and ask how London's doing. So many people, friends and family, thank you. Thank you, thank you. You know, it's it sucks having things like this happen, but despite all the crap, you know, that we had with Biden and Trump and politics, with Pelosi and Schumer, all those just just stuff that matters, but at the end of the day, all that really matters is us. My cousin Sean, he hates Trump with a passion. And they dropped off some cute little gifts. We we chatted for a little bit and he was just saying some things about Trump and COVID. And I just went over and hugged him and I just said, I love you. And I do, I love him. At the end of the day, none of that stuff matters. None of it, none of it matters. A lot of the political stuff like really got me fired up. And that's not good. Like it's so nice to be able to step back and, and unfortunately have a life threatening experience that causes you to you know be humbled again and, and realize that all those things don't matter. It doesn't matter who our bloody president is. They're all puppets anyway. It's a cat and mouse game. All that really matters is us. The human family. God bless everybody. Thank you for the prayers. It quite literally is a miracle. The doctor said we were in for a long haul. A long haul. Yeah, it's been 10 days, but my heavens, if she can come home next week and continue the rest of the recovery at home with her family around her, oh, that would be just just be amazing people need that connection feel loved to hug anyhow i'm gonna sign off for now <sighs> all right mom Hello. and i Lori and i have finished our chick-fil-a dinner there it is it is nearly 7 p.m and there's little london look at her face 
Look how look how beautiful her little face is. Would you just look at it? Look at her smiling. Mm. Why are you so happy? Is the tube gone? Mm. Which tube? The one that went in your nose, huh? Mm. That stupid NG tube is gone, huh? Mm. Did you like it? No. Did it make you angry? Mm. Is that why you pulled it out the first time? Mm. Yeah, get it out, huh? Get it out and throw it away. Mm. No more, huh? Oh. So London and I were talking. She has a whole bunch of minkies. So many minkies. And I asked her, I asked London mm. if she would share one with her dad, her father, since I have to s sleep alone at night because she won't let mommy leave. She lets mommy leave during the, the day, like in the morning, but not at night. And I asked London, I said, London, can I sleep with one of your minkies? And what'd you say? Oh. Nope. Why? Because they're yours. Mm. Will daddy ruin them if I sleep with them? Mm. I will. I'll ruin them. So London, do you get to have food now? Mm. A little bit. She's on a clear liquid diet. She got chicken broth tonight Ooh. for dinner. Ooh. Did you like the chicken broth? Ew. It wasn't good. What did he say about pizza, London? He's gonna give on Monday if she tomorrow keeps all of her clear liquids down and then her soft foods down. On Monday he is going to get her piece of cheese pizza. What? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Cheese pizza? So that's pretty cool that she gets to have pizza. That's pretty much her favorite food. Pizza or hamburgers. Occasionally a chicken sandwich, but... But she'll be on a more strict diet once we get home, but he will let her have pizza since she hasn't been able to eat. Amazing. I mean, for a doctor to approve pizza, that says something. Right? And he loves her. He, he does love her. He's so sad when we leave. It's almost like a pair of panties. Pair of panties, you you're the one. A pair of panties. They can hear you. You're my number one. Panties. <laughs> Laura hates when I sing about panties. Thank penny for your thoughts. They can hear you. No, they cannot if I'm really loud. A penny for your thoughts. A penny for your thoughts. Is it a penny or a panty for your thoughts? When do you get to go home? Next weekend, huh? As soon as the tincture of time allows. The doctor tells us every day that we ask him. So... When do you suppose, even an estimate, or a guesstimate, you know, that she may be able to come home? Ah, it's, it's all, it's all up to the tincture of time. Oh, yeah, the so tincture that. of time. Come to find out, it is an, an idiom? No. An analogy? No, that's not the right one. A euphemism? Maybe it's a euphemism. I don't know. There's all these words that I, that I don't remember. Anyhow, it, it hasn't changed in a century. Basically, doctors have used the same term to prescribe their inability to specify time frames, and they utilize the saying, the tincture of time. How long is it going to be, Doc? Well, it's all up to the tincture of time.